Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. I found it out at my own. Um, it took me a while to <laughs> to th think of it, and it's going to be a syntax-based calculator. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm opening up a calculator. Um, so this this is the main look of a normal calculator. Of course, this is from uh, Microsoft. Um, I just wanted to show you, uh, like when I type something in and then press plus and then another one it won't show the previous uh, number so what I'm going to show you is something uh, you can enter a text like 10 plus 10 and it will calculate and it will be 20 so and that I mean with a syntax based calculator so I'll press ok and this isn't that of, uh, this isn't that of pawns so you can make it better and stuff I'm just uh, adding a text box oh, let's resize it a little bit oh. and we are going to add a button and a label or let's uh, use a text box um, like this then here comes the button and then we'll resize it like that well let's make it a fix it single and change the text to syntax kill q tor okay oh um i'm going to change the name of button 1 to um oh damn it uh, let's redo that again sorry i'm going to change the name of the uh, uh changing the text of the button 1 to uh Calculate and then uh, the name will be CMD Calculate again. And this is going to be a text box 2, this is going to be TXT out. Oh, sorry. Um, let's see, read only equals true, I think. Well, let's do it. A uh, well, let's leave it like that. So Text box uh, one is going to be the same only than txt in, and yeah. So let's go to our solution. Um, I'm just I actually don't need a, a module for this one. I just call this one module. Um, but if you are using uh, plus minus um, the uh, divided by and, and times, I'm uh, you. I really should recommend it. I'm only doing plus on this one, just to show you how uh, what it needs, uh, what I, uh, how you can do it for yourself. So I'm adding uh, some things uh, to make my thing an extension, my uh, function. Um, if you don't know how to use it, actually, pretty it is actually pretty easy. But uh, you you can view my previous tutorial. Um, so I call this one get char from character by the text uh, string. Okay, this isn't the best way to do, but it do actually doesn't matter. It's just for uh, this one for this video, so it actually doesn't matter. So then, if oh if an str means if it's in a string, it will return true. If in hope and text and then a comma and then between those uh, brackets uh, quotation marks um, uh, the plus uh, then it will uh, return uh, plus else return let let it do uh, minus so this is a real simple one um so then we're going to uh, go to the uh, command uh, or the module uh, um them to the code of the cmd calculate command uh, the button so it's actually pretty easy so if oh wait a second dim char double r because uh when you're just typing like this it's already existing so as string equals to txt in dot get 
go.txtn.text.getchar then if char equals to oh wait a second first declare something then temp text as a string okay if if uh, this is going to be plus then um then it will uh, do temp text equals to txt in dot text dot split oh and then plus oh oh damn it. Uh, we have to do that uh, between brackets um sorry I was forgotten when you declare the temp text as a string you uh, you you have to put in these brackets um this is a real simple one you could do it uh yeah, better so it will detect how much pluses there are in uh, the in the uh, in the uh, text you entered. I'm just doing this. It's just for one plus, and yeah, you could do it easier. Uh, I mean, you could do it more advanced, but never mind. So it will be txt out dot text equals to. Uh, temp text then zero it means the first uh, uh, value entered before the plus started um, oh I was forgotten something uh, oh it's uh, saving sorry so value it's uh, kinda important um, so value of uh, the first uh, value plus the value of the second so it will be temp text and then one well it's actually kind of easy um, else you could uh, repeat this only that minus and then this one is minus is going to be minus two so let's check it out I hope it will work um yeah <laughs> so let's do 10 plus 10 calculated will be 20 C well I hope this will work too yes it works like 11 plus 8 it will be 19 oh plus I mean it will be 19 yes and 11 minus uh, minus 8 will be 3 so it actually works only when I press something minus uh, so 11 minus 8 minus 8 it won't show you because it will only add uh, do the first two but it uh, is actually pretty cool and uh, you could do more advanced um, so it will uh, count every um, every number and it will just uh, divide it um, it will just uh, be better but uh, um, cause now I actually uh, can only use two numbers and then you can uh, use more numbers and this also won't work see oh wait a second it is actually working well not really but okay um yeah it, <laughs> it actually doesn't matter so uh, you can do uh, fun stuff with it uh, also if you have any kind of error you will uh, have to type in something like on error go to syntax error and then on the uh, the like this I I'll just show you so then on error go to syntax syntax error and then exit sub so it won't uh, get through there uh, and uh, unless you uh, uh, unless an actor error I mean has found so it will jump to this one and then dxt out dot text equals <coughs> syntax error, error like that um I don't know I, I hope if you I can shoot yeah see uh, this is not a real syntax so it will show syntax error so this is pretty cool. I hope you like this video. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. Um, if you like my videos, of course. Or if you have questions, visit my blog. Um, 
you can find it in my uh, channel or just going to www.gnbjbnk.wordpress.com um, also email me to gnbjbnk at gmail.com so my youtube name is then at gmail.com right behind it so again thanks for watching and I'll catch you later